With so many baby monitors out there, this quick guide will help you choose the best one for you and your baby. There are two main types of baby monitor, digital and decked. Digital baby monitors can sometimes get interference, just like a digital radio can. Decked baby monitors, on the other hand, use the same technology as cordless phones, so you should get a totally interference-free line that's totally private. However, decked monitors are generally more expensive. You're talking about around £80 as opposed to £40 for a digital one. You can also get decked and digital monitors with video. Video monitors can provide extra reassurance as some people like to be able to see their child as well as hear them. But they do cost a little more, around £100 to £165 for a good one. Some video monitors have extra features such as remote control camera or being able to link up to your phone or computer. But they do tend to have a shorter battery life and shorter range than audio monitors. If you've got a large house or thick walls and plan on moving around a lot, say as into the garden, then you want to make sure you've got a baby monitor with as long a range as possible and a warning light to let you know if you go out of range. But we found the claimed range isn't always accurate. We test baby monitors in modern houses with thin walls and Victorian houses with thick walls, so we can make sure there isn't any disruption no matter how far away you get. Cheaper baby units are main powered only, but if you want to move around the house, say if your baby's in a Moses basket, then it's a good idea to look out for one that's got battery powers as well, so you can unplug it from the power source. It's also worth getting one with rechargeable batteries, as that will be cheaper in the long run. And make sure you get one with warning lights to let you know when the battery is running low. The battery life may well be on the box, but our tests have found that there's often a big difference between what's claimed and the reality. Some other useful features to think about are things like talkback mode, so you can talk to your baby without having to actually go into their room, a nightlight, room temperature thermometer and lullabies. You can also get a baby monitor with a motion sensor mat that will alert you if your baby stops moving for more than 20 seconds. Remember, you don't have to spend a lot to get a good baby monitor. We found Best Buy audio ones for under £70 and Best Buy video ones for under £130. So take a look at all of our reviews at which.co.uk.